welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here. And the starter for Toronto, Kevin Gossman. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. So in now for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Oh, great stop to his knee. The throw on the money. Nice play. But it looks so comfortable making that play. Dives, comes up with it, and then from one knee, like he's just playing catch with his kid. Nice throw across the diamond at first. Now the number two hitter, Zach Neto. 1-1 one, one now. And a swing and a miss. One ball. Two strikes. Ah. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Two outs. Space is empty. Nolan Shonwell now at the plate. Ground ball left side. Slings it across, oh. and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Angels held in check, and now the Blue Jays will get their initial shot. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now in Toronto, and starting in this one, number 62. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's George Springer to start it off. That one not close. Now two balls and a strike. The other way, and that's just foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The line of the pitch. Chop back up the middle. To first. Oh. One up, one down. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball Three, in two. dirt. And another ball. Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they catch a break as they get a base runner at first. That is cool. The designated hit. Man at first with one goal. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Kicks and fires. Oh. Two one. And he's back in on a dive. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's it. He can't hang on. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. That is good. The first base. First and second, one out. 
And next will be the cleanup hitter, Spencer Horowitz. Two on, one out. And a count one and two. Got him looking. Two gone now. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. So first and second with two outs. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. And another ball. There are lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching, but you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two on, two outs. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Here's the 2 2. Number seven, waiting to hit for Toronto. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Two outs, bases full. And now the rookie second baseman. Next offering is outside. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Blue Jays strand three, scoreless after one. Back here at Rogers Center. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Nico Cavadas. Nico Cavada. There's the splitter in the dirt, swing and a miss. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. And a one-two again. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out in the second. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. One down, base is empty. One ball, two strikes. Second inning here, no score. Fights that one away, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Struck him out looking. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And next for the Angels, Logan Ohapi. There's a swing and a drive. Base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. And he's out. He's out. Down and that ends the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. <laughs> bottom of the second. And the batter now, Ernie Clement. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Right-hander kicks deals. And another ball. 
James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone and essentially... They now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder. And the righty deals. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Way outside, two balls, two strikes. The line to kick the pitch. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. One out, base is empty. That's Thank off you. the mark, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. No throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. And next for Toronto, Addison Barger. Barger. Man at first, one away. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Outside low. Now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Right side, hard hit. Gets it to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Leading well, here we go. Angels. Top of the third the scoreless game. game. So in now Brandon. for the Angels, Brandon Drury. And a pitch. And another ball. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball popped up. Gets under it. Makes the grab one away. The center field, number 16. So up next, Mickey Moniak. One down, base is empty. And now it's even up. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Clement throws the first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Here's Joe Adele. Good eye right there. Two out, space is empty. Late on that fastball. Two balls, two strikes. Right. 
Not even Anderson. close there. Full count now. Two down, nobody on. In the air, right field. Springer there makes the catch. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Set yeah. for the bottom of the third, the right and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Springer. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And there's a foul ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Stays alive. Outside, and that is ball four. Leading off for the game. And now it's Dalton Varsha. And it is okay. two and one. Left hand batter waits. Great ball. Squirts away a little bit. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And a pitch. That one the other way. Nice grab. That's a big first out of the inning. He showed off his skills catching the line jump. But most importantly, he kept the runner out of scoring position. Things would look a little different if he didn't make that play. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And a pitch. A little out front there as he swings through it. One ball, two strikes. And that's doubted away. There goes the runner. Pitch inside. Throw to second and great jump. Nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Side and that is ball four. Now back, first base. Spencer Horowitz next up for the Blue Jays. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full oh, speed. Now. Outside and it's two and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch. Rendon tags the runner for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at Rogers Center, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Taylor Moore. Ball to strike, the pitch. On the ground to third, Barker. On to first. That's the first out in the top of the four. Well, here we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. 
Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. And here it comes. Swing and a ball hammered left field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open that. instead of staying that's closed. That's if he does no that, he's going to be able to go no up way. the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Nolan Shonowell. Out to short. Over to first. Third out. So they go quietly there. We're midway in the fourth. No score. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now here is Alejandro Kirk. And a 1-1. One -one. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Mike Bauman, the young right-hander, up and throwing. And a 1-2. That one to first. Cavadas. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping no the ball out of the no air. Man. Let's the second defense base work base behind man. him with another ground yeah. ball. Good execution. Wagner. Here's the second baseman. One down, base is empty. On the ground to short, Neto. Zips it across. Already two gone here in the home four. So singing a close play at first, worthy of another look with Statcast. That was an absolute heater, and she just don't see that type of velocity coming across the diamond every day. Only the best infield arms in baseball reach 90 miles per hour, and he needed all of it to get that out. Bang, bang, play. And now the shortstop, Ernie Clement. And All downstairs. Field. And it goes just foul. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Next pitch is outside. Raves at the bender for the strikeout. Three up, three down that time. On to the top of the fifth we go. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. now in Toronto ready now for the fifth inning and here's the first baseman Nico Cavadas swing and a miss as he was late he's pitching a well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes he usually doesn't work out for success but he can never predict baseball just missed Way high there. And that's ball three. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the right hander deals. High fly ball out to left field. In position. Corrals it. And there's one down. The third base number six. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Swings through that one out in front that time. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now.
chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Oh, hockey. Here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. And the pitch. Right that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Nice. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. And we still have no score. Mike now, Bauman taking the over on the mound. At this point in the ball game, we're talking about oh middle innings. And a wow. little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now the left fielder Lead up for Toronto. The left fielder. Joey Lobo. The 1 1. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Got him looking for the strikeout. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. The ball, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. That was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. That missed by a lot. And the count is two and two. Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Ripped on the ground a second. Throws the first in time. Two up, two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two oh, outs. That is an excellent pace. And the batter is George Springer. Well, Boog, Springer always grades well with his bat. He's been incredibly consistent at the plate in his career. Here's a 1 1. And it's fouled away. <laughs> Next Ball. offering is down low. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. The 2-2. Two -two. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. This one popped up. That takes care of Springer, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays, and we are still scoreless. Top of the six. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Drury. Here comes a pitch. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. It really looks like Football. these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. At the belt and fires. In the air out to center. Varsho moving under it. Makes the catch for the out. One down. And next for L.A., Mickey Moniak. Yeah, yep, now two balls and out. a strike. And he deals. That's and another three. ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed down low. 
Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over the first. One down. And next for the Angels, Joe Adele. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. That's back. And that one is out of here. And that's how they take the lead. It's 2 nothing. Well, the best home runs are the ones that give your team the lead. That's a great feeling right there. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. Kicks and fires. Towards first. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. The bat. The, the shortstop. Short Zach Neto. So in now for the Angels, Zach Neto. Bounce to third. Loves it on the dive. The throw. Nicely done for the out. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the center fielder, Dalton Varsho. Pitch is in there, and that's strike two. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful, not working with too big a lead. They can get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Here's a rocket out to left. Ward makes the grab. One up, one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. get any air under it but he smoked that ball back up the middle timing was just perfect got great wood on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it one gone runner at first and now the Toronto cleanup hitter Spencer Horwitz the one one and fouled off with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of the double play right here Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. That ball, one it. misses and that's ball three. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Hunter Strickland up and loosening in the pen. Fulmer getting loose as well. Two outs. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Not what he wanted to do there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. Here's the second baseman. Wagner.
Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Curve in the dirt. Keeps away. Throw is low and he can't pick it. This guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the map, Ryan Yarbrough. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. At the play, Nolan Shanowell. The designated hitter. A little surprised. Nolan. You don't see a pinch hitter here. Both the lefty lefty matchup. The wind of the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now Nico Cavadas getting ready to hit. Right side. And that one handled. And they put the tag on him for the out. The third base is number six. Anthony Rendell. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Anthony Rendon. The pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now Logan Ohapi. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Two outs. And they find him for the K. So one hit is all they get. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. Angels two, and the Jays nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Moore. These are the spots relievers now, really make a name for themselves. Late 55. and close. There's Matt. not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now it's the shortstop, Ernie Clement. Not short All these stop. fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And here it comes. Two, two, down. Outside low, and the count's full. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. 
Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Here's the left fielder. Tying run at the plate. That one a little bit high. Two and one. The tying run at the plate. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. Lifted in the air, right field. Adele moves under it. Makes the grab. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Third base. Addison Barker next up for the Blue Jays. Fly ball to the outfield for a sack fly. Soft ground ball to the right side. Find a hole. He can attack this a few ways, but the one thing he can't do is strike out. Swung on, belted. Adele on the move, racing back. And it bangs off the top of the wall. A run scores. Hey, that's a really big RBI as he snags himself three bases in the process. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. New pitcher on now, Hunter Strickland. And this is his 55th game he's come in to pitch this season, so he's got some innings under his belt. He's been an important guy for them. Here's George Springer. Ball to strike. Swings and chases a low one there. One ball, two strikes. Two. Wouldn't That's chase bullshit. that time. With the go ahead run at the plate, near the bottom of the seven. Low drive. That's a base hit. Runner from third in the score. We are tied at two. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. And the righty deals. Popped up left side. He's got it. Two away. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until this next at bat. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. Throw to first, and Springer's in there safely. The 2 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Here's a 2 2. Now it's Belton. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. A two run shot. It's 4 2.
a good hitter gets pitch recognition early, he saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty with two away. Spencer Horwitz next up for the Blue Jays. Right-handed reliever. Got a good eye there. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two down, nobody on. Right through there, got him. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. Four runs in the inning, and they've jumped in front. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Blue Jays four and the Angels two. Welcome back, and a new arm of the mound to start the eighth. Eric Swanson. And he's had his struggles so far now, this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Brandon Drury to the plate. The second base. Brandon Drury. On the ground. What a stop. Now the throw to first on the run. And it beats him. What a play. The center Mickey. Mickey Moniak. The next to hit. The Angels down by a pair. And we're in the top of the eighth. That one down the line, and that's just foul. One down, base is empty. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. So a man aboard. Now Joe Adele. Tying run at the plate. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Here's a one-two. Eats and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Taylor Ward. Two outs. And another ball. pitch swing and a miss struck him out that's the third out angels leave one they trail it here four to two New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the Number bottom of the eighth, four. Jack Kachanowicz. Yeah. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. And now the catcher comes up to him, Alejandro Kirk. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Tied in on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Now it's the second baseman, runner on the go. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Adele makes a nice running catch. Now, now batting, shortstop, Ernie 
Clement. Man at first, Ernie Clement. Next up for the Blue Jays. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Swings through that. Two on, one out. And I'm swinging. And there's two away. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball in the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Two on, two outs. That's in. Ball two. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. Sends it to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Blue Jays leave a pair as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. the closer Chad Number Green and this is his yeah. 40th appearance of the season so he's starting to log a decent amount of work this year and the batter will be the, the shortstop coach. Zach Neto and a pop up on the left side of the infield catcher tosses the mask settles under it makes the grab one down no He's two outs away. Nolan Shanowell will hit next. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Ripped on a line to center. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Nico Cavadas, the next to hit for the Angels. And that one fouled off. Tying run at the plate. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Hit in the air, center field. Varshow moving under it. He's got it. There's two away. The third base is number six, Anthony. Angels down to their final out. Now the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. The Blue Jays trying to close out a two-run lead here at the top of the ninth. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So two on with two away. And next for L.A., Logan Ohapi. So the tying run at second. They're down to their final strike. One ball, two strikes.
The Halos down to their final strike. And that's outside. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Riding to the plate. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two outs. special about that good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans and your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew I'm John Chavez saying so long